How many weeks am I late, guys? Probably like three weeks, I think. But regardless, though, I can finally cover it. Jinsu Meta. Let's review her. So she, if you guys don't know, she's the current meta as of right now in OS. You can fight her. Probably one of the more annoying ones by far uh, because of her damage reduction. Still applies to her kit as well too. Uh, anyways though, at 120, we have the stats of 3,033 health, 174 firepower, 402 on torpedoes, 0 aviation, 323 on anti-air, 204 on the reload, 113 on the evasion, Light armor, 35 uh, on the speed. Oh my, I'm still not used to the symbol yet. 162 on the luck, or 162 on the hit, 38 on the luck, 105 on, 109 on ASW, and 12 on the oil cost. <clears throat> so, compared to most Lice Cruiser, I think she's like a little bit below average. Um, 3,000 is pretty low for a Light Cruiser nowadays, especially if you look at the fact that most of the newer DDs have roughly around 3000 HP, so she's basically at destroyers, the current destroyer's health, which is very, very low. Um, same goes to Unzin, which we talked about. A lot of new ships nowadays have this very low health pool, so I don't know, maybe it's like a new thing or whatever. But on the gear efficiencies, we have 120 on the light cruiser gun, 185% on torpedoes, that's a lot, that's really, really big, and 115 on the anti air. So High torpedo, high anti-air. I think that's similar to her uh, original form, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe a little bit lower on the anti-air, but definitely up there for torpedoes, though. Uh, light cruiser says we have plus one torpedo. Very nice. And as for her skills, we have unyielding the flower blooms. When this ship fires her torpedoes, fires an additional special barrage, uh, and increases your vanguard's torpedo by 25%, for 10 seconds. That's actually really, really good. Um, you could probably run some cheeky stuff with it, but that's actually really, really good. I think that's stackable with the other Jinsu, so you could probably run some fancy stuff. Honestly, I think there's like way, way too many like destroyer, light cruiser, um, torpedo buffs or whatever, so you can probably find something, but 25% is a lot, especially when you try and go for like an early burst setup. 25% uh, is a lot. You can probably run something cheeky with that. I don't know what it is, but you could probably run something cheeky with that. Just saying. Uh, the second skill, life and death within one's palm. Increase this ship's evasion by 15%. While this ship is afloat, decreases your destroyer and light cruiser cannon damage taken by 10%. Increase their torpedo crit rate by 10%. So more crit rate right there. Unfortunately, that does not work for Unzin, so you can't really use it with the newer ship. But it does work with a lot of the older, older uh, destroyers and light cruisers because that's the IJN favoritism right there. So, more crit rate. Damage reduction, very, very nice. Third skill, decisions, uh, prudent yet audacious. Decrease the ship's damage taken by 20%. Once per battle, when this ship's damage taken, that will sink her, so basically a KO. Uh, evades uh, all attacks for 3 seconds and then fires 2 layers of torpedoes. It recovers 20% of her max HP, and the damage reduction gets removed after that. So, I feel like you can run something cheeky with like having her at low HP. So she can get the two waves of torpedoes, as well as the HP regen. So, she's one of those ships, once again, that you want to play at low HP. So, I can't really think of a scenario where you want to run like a lot of suicide bombing, like healing or whatever. But I feel like if in terms of like long terms, like scenario where like we're under geared, I guess that could work out. Assuming she doesn't sink. If she sinks, that doesn't work out. But if you're doing something that like say using her for the first time, you probably don't have the gear. So she's probably going to like take a lot of damage. Maybe might sink. Uh, but that's going to keep her from not sinking. She's going to heal 20% 20 of her HP. And then you just fired more waves of torpedoes. So... You probably build something with like HP and then make it so she's like low HP, like have her front tank or something, just so she can utilize the first part of, I mean, utilize her third skill, more torpedo waves and a heal. You probably run something like that, honestly, like have her being like a vanguard tank, but it has to be like campaign scenario or, or uh, event scenario because if it's bossing, she's done. She's gone. So, yeah. And then the last skill, framework of logic, Jinsu. Uh, every eight times the ship fires her main guns, fires a special barrage, 
When fighting, humanoid sirens or boss fleet decreased your meta ship's damage taken by 8%. So we have more of these. I think there's like two of them that also has damage reduction. So you run a full fleet, have like 24% damage reduction by um, on meta ships. Honestly, it'll be really funny if we get to the point where like we have six of these, where you have like three ba Vanguard, three backline that has damage reduction and they all stack. Actually, no, they can't all stack. But that'd be good though if they can stack. Maybe it can because it's called Framework Logic Jinsu. I don't know. If it, okay, hypothetically, let's say it does stack. That'd be really cool. You have almost 50% damage reduction. That's actually really, really good. But um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't though because Framework Logic is like, a, it's like the baseline skill and pretty much a lot, a lot of the mana ships have that. So yeah. Uh, but that's how I see this ship though. Low HP, but has a lot of ways to survive. Good buffs as well, too, if you want to go for an early rush with uh, torpedo stats and crit rate torpedoes. So, pretty much your, you, pretty much the old Jinsu, but more survivability this time around. So, if we were to dig up the old Jinsu, let's say, uh, and that tab. Basically, this one, but more survivability and uh, more utility as well. Speed up more torpedo, more torpedo and crit rate, which is really, really. Well, she knows she can buff crit as well too. Okay, more survivability, more damage. So, yeah, it's basically the old Jinsu. The old Jinsu kind of fell out though, so it's kind of like, if you want to stack both of them, you. I, I think you can actually. Yeah, you can. You can stack both Jinsus and just run like two Jinsus and like a Shimakazi or something. Oh my God, Kimo, when Shimakazi rerun? I don't know. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.